Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. I hope you've all been having a lovely week so far. Uh, and yeah, we're right, right here in the middle. Uh, time for RPG Wednesday, <laughs> which is not a thing that exists. Uh, but it is time for Dragon Quest II. The continuation, part two of number two. Uh, hello. To everyone. Hello, Camping Luna, Xanathus, and Rojo Mild. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Xanathus and Luna, for contributing to the re-challenge challenge. And we just hit 25% of the way to our goal. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Luna. Um, Rojo, you said, having the last stream on in the background, is the Japanese KQ2 or American 2 you're playing? I assume you mean Kingsfield. Uh, I'm playing the Japanese Kingsfield 2 because I played the original Kingsfield last year, which only came out in Japan, so I'm trying to keep that numbering uh, sequence going. Because hopefully it's less confusing that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome. Um, I, I'm going to wait a little bit to explain the... Um, the channel point challenge. So someone remind me in like an hour uh, to explain it. Because, you know, I always explain it at the beginning of the stream and sometimes people come in later. So I figure if like I throw an explanation like an hour or two in, then it'll give a chance for people to like catch up who may have missed the start of the stream. Um, yeah, but uh, what I will mention is another uh, channel point uh, redemption thing, um, which is to, su uh, suggest a game. Um, this is one that's always open. You're always free to suggest me games to play, uh, either using the, uh, channel point redemption or on my discord. Um, right now I'm kind of interested in bad games. If you have an idea for any, uh, bad well, bad can mean a lot of things. Kusoge. Um, <laughs> bad games that are entertaining in spite of themselves. Um, I'm really interested in playing some of those uh, because I have been playing a lot of really good, really solid games recently. And, you know, there is some deep, dark part of me uh, deep within that just craves bad things. Uh, so, if you have any suggestions them my way um oh yeah i would love to do i would love to play some simple series games sometime um i know there's like a mix of like good and bad um but i i remember watching the retro pals when they were doing the roulette wheel of different games and there are some uh stinkers in there Friday the 13th nes perfect thank you s8 uh, i will throw it on the list uh, that is definitely what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually played that game before. Now that I think about it. So, yeah, I, I will definitely put that on the list. Thank you. I appreciate it. And hello. I hope you're doing well. Um, Yeah, so, with that. um, so <laughs> Sometimes the bad 2,000 yen games pay for the good 2,000 yen games. So, so true. All right, let's play some. Oh, enjoy the enjoy the no signal screen for a second. The music. Pull up Dragon Quest. So last time in the game, um, I got the party together. I guess that's really the last thing I did because that is in it <laughs> that is kind of an adventure in itself, uh, is finding all the party members. All two of them. Um our party is complete now. And now it's time to fight Hargon, <laughs> I guess. Hey Happy Toaster, welcome. Uh since none of our dads wanna offer any kind of advice. That's loud. I guess we just have to figure it out on our own. 
And thank you. <laughs> thank you for the head pats. So. I did find a, a couple of towers, like, across a river from each other. Um, and I also heard a hint, a clue, about a, some sort of cape you can find, and if you wear it, it lets you glide. So I assume I need that cape to cross over the river. Um, but I'm guessing that we're not going to find the cape in the place I need to use it. I think I have to go somewhere else to find it. Hello, Seeker. Thank you for the contribution. I appreciate it. Now go, Elter. I named my character Elter instead of Elt, because uh, I thought that you'd name all three of the all three of the people. But no, you just named the first one. The second one is always Eric, and the third is always Gwen. So, oh well. <laughs> So Alter is level 12, Eric is level 10, a paladin, and Gwen is level 5. Gwen at level 5 already has more MP than Eric, which is good. Elter Skelter. <laughs> um, Elter is, unlike other Dragon Quest heroes, he can only do melee attacks, he has no MP, he casts no spells, um, but he is very strong and he can... He's the only one who can wear the best armor and wield the best weapons. Eric is like a standard DQ protagonist. You can cast spells and wear pretty good armor and use pretty good weapons. Gwen is all magic. She can't wear any armor or use any good weapons. Um, but she has very good spells. Uh, I guess this only shows the ones you can cast right now, but she has like group, group magic. Um, where did it start us? Is this the opening castle? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it does. So the very last thing we did was we went and found a mirror, which was able to, uh... Oh, I need the gold key for this door, right? Yeah, this is the silver key, and this is the gold key. Wrong key. Um, oh, I just left. Well, that's fine. Hey, Neo Zero, welcome. How's it going? Um, so we, uh, we found the princess who had been cursed and turned into a dog. Uh, we found a mirror who, that turned her back into a human. Um, much to, I guess, everyone's chagrin. She didn't keep any, like, dog features. <laughs> she was just all human. Just flee? Yeah, okay. Now, we're pretty much left to our own devices. I talked to all the kings. None of them had anything useful to say. You know, I'm like, wow, you found all the people. Great job. That's the town. I want to go straight west from here. I'm trying to remember where everything is. And it seems like fleeing is maybe a bad idea, because you lose everyone's turn if you fail, right? It seems like that's how it works. You need to be careful. Ah, yes. Okay, we have to pass through here. I need the gold cue for this as well. Hmm. Yeah, sadly, Gwen is not, um, going to be winning any damage, any physical damage contests anytime soon, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, they tend to be, like, they run away more often than we do, it seems like.
it. Also, whenever someone talks about MLMs, um, my mind does not go to multi-level marketing <laughs> at first. I tend to be like, what, what does it have to do about men loving men? And then I think about it for a bit and go, oh, wait. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, if I was trying to sell them Yaoi or something, they'd probably just stick around. Alright, so from here... I think we had south to hit um, Castle Moonbrook. These guys all attack. I'm pretty sure Gwen is pretty close to leveling. Oh, yeah, there, there she goes. Surround. A Yaoi pyramid scheme would be an MLMMLM. <laughs> that just looks like uh, Roman numerals at that point. Oh, Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah, okay. I've I've heard of that game. Um, that was actually made by From Software, if you can believe it. Um, but yeah, it's a, a mech game where you play as the President of the United States, um, trying to survive a coup by your Vice President, and also uh, you're all in mechs <laughs> for some reason. It looks very silly. I do I do want to play it at some point. So thank you. Definitely add that to the list. Quality of cutscenes rather than rather than gameplay. That's fair. <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, what town is this? Oh, this is Hamlin. Okay, right. I'm curious, have I bought ev everything from here yet? Or is there more equipment I could buy? Steel shield Elter could use. But everything else we've got it looks like. Alright, let's, let's get it. Oh my god. I wonder if Gwen could actually use a shield. Probably not, but... Okay. Not while I equip it right now. You paid for it, you equip it. We want Elter to be as beefy as possible, since he is our tank. So... Oh, right, okay, so we cross a bridge here. I need to figure out how to get back to the Moonbrook Castle. Because so I think if we go east from there, uh, that leads us to the swamp where... We found the mirror that changed the princess back. But we didn't really explore it ar around that area beyond that, so I, I, I want to do that.
Oh, we have to go all the way around this lake, okay. Oh, you're right. That is the strategy of a lot of mecha anime. <laughs> it's like, well, if we add mecha to politics, then people will start to care about the politics. Although I think, um, what's it called? Legend of Galactic Heroes? Kind of the same thing, except with, you know, huge, like, spaceships fighting each other. I haven't actually watched Legend of Galactic Heroes, or, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched any Gundam beyond, like, one episode of Gundam Wing. <laughs> so... I don't really have any any place to like talk, but I know you know I know things about them. Sonic Boom, oh boy, that might be a bit too recent. Wait, when did Sonic Boom come out? Oh God, Eric's, or Gwen's gonna die. Sonic Boom game. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. 2014. Wow. Turns 10 years old next year? That's wild. Okay. <laughs> so that might be a next year thing. <laughs> we'll celebrate, quote unquote. Sonic Boom turning 10 years old next year. Legend of the Galactic Heroes does have genuine scenes with people sitting in meetings, sometimes disguised by holding meetings on starship bridges. Okay. Okay, that's a swamp, obviously. <laughs> that's where we found the mirror. I'm wondering, is there anything else around here? It seems like there was like a tiny strip of land to the south. Yeah, maybe Legend of the Galactic Heroes is a bad example, because I feel like a lot of people do watch that show for the, like, the politics and the character interactions and stuff. Oh, there's a tower. How do I get to it? that you cast Infernos. Okay, that mostly worked. Oh wow. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I do really enjoy, like, marveling at the animations of, of stuff. How do I get over there? Um, I need to get back to watching Record of Lodos War, the original. And that, that, um, uh, I guess series? It, it was a bunch of OVAs, um, for the first part. But that has, um, 
incredible animation. How about the barn? Well, actually, is that fair to say as incredible animation? Because some of the animation, the, like the actual moving parts, are not that impressive. But, like, the still frames are works of art. Like, incredibly beautiful. Unme Coral Coral Game Egg. Okay. I have never heard of that, I don't think. I will look it up. Okay, maybe I have to wrap around to the, the front, the top? Because the tower was to the south, but... all separated by water, so maybe I have to approach from the north, and there's like a way it wraps around to the tower. I need to finish Lodos War. I, I think I'm like halfway through, which is kind of really silly because it's like maybe 10 episodes, 10 to 12 episodes. They're half an hour each. <laughs> so I have no excuse beyond it's difficult for me to sit down and watch anything really. Okay, yeah, I think I've heard of it before. I've heard people talk about it anyway. I really have to follow the coast all the way down there. Oh no, I got surprised. Oh yeah, I should mention I am watching the dub currently. <laughs> and yes, the English opening is incredible. If you've never seen it before or heard the song, uh, it's wonderful. is so, like, cheesy in a beautiful way. <laughs> is over here. Do I follow this all the way down? Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, Record of Lotus War is based off of the... Well, it's based off of a series of novels. 
and the author based the novels off of his Dungeons and Dragons campaign. So it's really interesting to watch, especially for that, that angle of just like, how do they adapt their, you know, homebrew Dungeons and Dragons campaign into an actual story? That's also kind of interesting from the point of view of like, well now, you know, there's so many podcasts of people playing through their tabletop RPG campaigns and how interesting it is to like listen to those. So it's kind of an evolution of this format of, like, storytelling. Okay, we need a little healing here. Much better. Oh yeah, I forgot that Critical Role actually has an animated series now. <laughs> So yeah, it, it totally is. Club. Great. Wow. This was quite the journey to get here. <laughs> there it is. Finally. Oh. Full music. I, I actually want to go down here. Okay, there's nothing. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> I need to remember that Eric is the only one that has a antidote spell. <laughs> I don't want to use up all his MP. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering if something bugged out in the music there. But no, that's just how it sounds. Staircases. And we can just leave there if we want. The herb. Gosh, the uh, the Resident Evil 4 remake is out tomorrow, isn't it? Tomorrow night, at least. I think I... Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I actually found the, the right way forward. I'm really excited for the RE4 remake. I wasn't sold on it at first because I was afraid that uh, it was going to be too scary. <laughs> I'm not much of a horror person. But I played the demo um, when it came out and I was like, no, this is still as goofy. <laughs> not as goofy, but still pretty goofy. Resident Evil 4 was actually the first Resident Evil game I played. Just because I'm not much of a fan of horror in general, so 
you know, I kind of stayed away from the series until people were like, oh, you know, 4 is very action-heavy. Oh, there's a person over there. So I was like, well, I'll give it a try, and I ended up loving it. Which is probably not a surprise. <laughs> was uh, <laughs> a mess of a fight. fall out, out of the tower. Interesting. I don't think I got hurt from that, at least. Confusing, I can already tell. I have to go up to the top, and then there's going to be other staircases down? rats. <laughs> oh, you can summon friends? weak level there, but that's fine. I 
making sure I'm not missing any, like, secret walls or anything. Doesn't seem like I am. a couple herbs. Okay, nothing that way either. <laughs> okay. view is just small enough that you can't see <laughs> you can't fully see the other two the other three areas self-contained? Huh? Interesting. Well, then. Where's that guy? I think I could see him from, like, this floor, maybe? Maybe a floor down. Oh no, Gwen! Oh no! <laughs> Gwen's dead. Now what? <laughs> How do I arrest people? I have to go to a church, right? Oh, I think we bumped our head. And... <laughs> Well, 
while this expedition fell apart, like, immediately. Yeah, seriously. Turns out they're quite fearsome. Okay. There's actually a church here. Oh, no, there it is. I... I am. <laughs> You're in the temple. You need to rest... when? Oh, my God. Hello, Dante. Welcome. Just carrying around the uh, coffin of my <laughs> my friend. Pretty sure I need to go to a, a church. I mean, there's one of the town to the west. Yeah, how are they dragging it behind themselves? Is Eric just, like, strapped to it and he's just hauling it behind him? I do hope it's on wheels, at the very least. There we go. Hello, welcome. How's it going? Summon the wayward soul of Gwen. Gwen was revived. Okay, so good to know. I'm pretty sure whenever Eric uses return, it just returns you to the first castle of the game. But I think using a warp wing will bring you to to uh, the last town you visited. I probably should have asked for an experience update while I was in the castle. Oh well, no big deal. Oh, thank you for the Hydrate and Stretch Seeker. I will do that in just a second. I guess I can do it now. Right, I'm gonna one hand control and one hand Hydrate. There we go. To where we came from. <laughs> that dream. Yeah, I can't be stopped controlling an RPG, a JRPG, a turn based RPG with one hand. Can you believe it? 
They uh, they made a one-handed uh, controller for, I think it was the first PlayStation, uh, specifically to play RPGs with. I was like, that's a good idea, because like I don't need two hands on the proverbial wheel to play Final Fantasy VII, you know. Wait, we should walk into this town. So that is the last town we entered. Sounds sus. I'm trying to think now. You wouldn't not be able to hold a Game Boy Color with one hand and, like, accurately control it. Eh, maybe you could. I don't know if I'd recommend it, though. I guess it would be less danger if you dropped a, a controller than a Game Boy. <laughs> Super comfortable. Yeah, that, that makes sense. targeting this game works. Because Gwen obviously has no armor, so if she gets hit, she's gonna get hit for a lot of damage. I wonder if it's kind of Final Fantasy 1-ish, where, uh, depending on, like, which character is, there's a certain percentage that they'll be targeted. Because it doesn't seem like Gwen is targeted that often. Oh, the baboons are fleeing. <laughs> they're still beating us up, though. I don't understand why they're running away. Hmm. You know, I... I should go up here. Just to see what is up there. your monsters, for one thing. Okay, nothing. Man, the world in this game is shaped so weird. It feels like it was built to be, like, as inconvenient to travel as possible. <laughs> exciting when it happens. Ah. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Big rat. Big rat. Ah, oh, they're back. Goodbye, big rat. I salute you. A rat who's been awarded the title of big rat. have to figure out how to get to it. Hey, do I see the guy over here? Oh, that just makes you go outside. Side. I wonder what that spell does. Okay, I just want to look over this way. Okay, there's the guy. Starting some stairs. How do I get over there? So, those zombies have a lot of health. That's like the hardest part about them is, no matter what, Walter has to do like two attacks to them. I 
I do feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> okay, so there's an exit here. Yeah, so if you go all the way up, um, there's four staircases, but all of them are, once you go upstairs, they're just kind of self-contained. You can't really go anywhere else from there. Hey, Skeleton Witch, welcome. Oh god. <laughs> the surprise attack. Okay. I don't want Gwen to die off again. So it's two squares to the east, and then one, four squares down? No, that's under the pillars. Go back up. Yeah, so this is where I ended up. strange. <laughs> Clearly I'm missing something. <laughs> it's just some tower I found. I don't think it has a name. Or, you know, I don't know. Oh, man. No, this is a different tower. I'm pretty sure this is the tower where you find the gliding um, cape. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Fair enough. There's a way to go upstairs from here. Do I want a map? <laughs> I don't know. How uh, how obvious is the solution? How about that? I guess there's like a hidden wall somewhere that I missed. Looks like it works out. <laughs> I'm seeing hidden walls. Hmm. I see. Okay. staircase I missed somewhere. This might be dangerous, depending on who they attack. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good level. Okay. <laughs> Repel. Oh. Trying to get to that guy first. Okay. Yeah. Oh, poison. Very rude, Megapede.
Yeah, I do want to play uh, 3 at some point. I don't know when, because I'm going to play Final Fantasy 3 probably as my next RPG. and you get like one max HP. Wait for the remake to drop so you can complain about it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really played any of the games that do the... the, the thing. <laughs> I don't know why you, what you want to call it, the HD 2D thing. So, I know some people have complaints about, like, the bloom and the blur and stuff, and I think that's totally valid. I think I'm probably going to play the Super Famicom version when I do play 3. That's the one that was recommended to me the most. So the floor below me is where the guy is. And then you can fall out there. <laughs> I wonder, so do you have to fall onto where he is, I wonder? has been an hour. Um, I guess I should say to give the spiel <laughs> for everything. Uh, so I'm doing a channel point challenge currently to uh, re-challenge a game that I played before. Uh, so you can contribute channel points to that. And there's also the uh, channel point redemption, uh, which is called the challenge uh, submission, I think. Yeah. Uh, where you can give me a submission, uh, a suggestion of a game for me to play again. It can either be a game that uh, I played before and did not finish, uh, or it could be a game I have played before and finished, um, and it would be a new way of playing it. So with a new character, or a new difficulty mode, or a new port of the game. And once the channel point challenge is met, then we'll have a vote uh, for all the submissions, and whichever one wins uh, is the one I'll do. And let me pull up the list right now. Uh, so far, we have Final Fantasy 2, Maria only, <laughs> uh, submitted by Fornea, Devil May Cry 3, Dante Must Die Mode by Gamma Chris, Eternal Darkness, No Sanity Recovery Magic, Pick a Different Ancient by Seeker Relics. Sonic 2006, Sonic Stages, All S Rank by Camping Luna. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Maria Mode by Camping Luna. And Super Mario 64 with the Totsugeki, Totsugeki 64 mod by Camping Luna. So obviously you can uh, submit multiple things if you'd like. Not limited to one submission.
And yeah, thank you so much for um, contributing, Raven Current and Neo Zero. Much appreciated. The stairs there. Talked about two. Yeah, I've heard good things about it, I think, <laughs> of Octopath 2. I never really played Octopath 1. Um and I heard kind of mixed things about it, so you know, I'm kinda holding holding off. I'm sure it'll go sit on sale pretty soon. That sounds like classic uh, RPG design there. <laughs> drop-off point. Apparently not the not the correct way to go, so I should have just started with Inferno, so oh well. Because <laughs> I'm clearly missing something. Very deep in Octopath. Yeah, what was that PS1 game that just got translated? Uh, Deep Blue Adventure or something? Kind of sounds like that. so confused. I 
vaguely remember how to get there. Okay. A different route to floor two. Okay. <laughs> so I know there's a second staircase in floor one. But it doesn't seem to go anywhere, like, exclusive. Clear out this dungeon <laughs> by the time we're done. just grinding for levels. So there's this staircase. But this doesn't go anywhere like specific. Hmm. There's something else I'm missing. Okay. Maybe there was, like, a one tile of outside that I could step on, and that was a secret. Oh, what? Did I just not walk over here at first? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, how's it going? Watch your step when you go along the tower's outer wall. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I refuse. <laughs> what? Aren't you afraid of falling? That kind of recklessness will come back to haunt you before long. <laughs> Put stairs outside a building. Not smart of you to heed me. I bet you went over already. Eh, hey, yeah, I may have. <laughs> I'm starting to think I was hit the box. Oh my god. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> It is box shaped, yes. It's the fire escape. What do we got? Bunch of money. Great. up here. Oh, be careful. Okay, I think that leads to the, the cape, so let's go the other way. Thank you. 
Maybe this leads to the cape. <laughs> Didn't kill any of them. Let's make sure that she doesn't suddenly die. Treasure. The wizard ring, maybe? Well, let's go to the wizard. Wait, what? <laughs> when prayed with the wizard ring. When's MP was restored. Ring crumbled silently. Ring's power was used up. Oh. <laughs> well. Cool. <laughs> That's the wizard's ring. <laughs> really glad I climbed the tower for that. <laughs> to break immediately. Ah. <sighs> Gwen has her, uh, has her, has her stuff back, I guess. This is why we use ne no items until the final boss, exactly. Feels so 80s. Okay, yeah, that makes sense to me. Hey, nice. 
All right, now to get to the actual thing that we came here for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're not very big maps, but you do have to deal with all the random battles. Ah, you know what? That didn't even restore all of Gwen's MP. Okay, so wizard rings are just consumables. Got it. That makes me feel better. <laughs> This the wind cape? I got it. After I equip it. Oops, I just unequipped his weapon. Steel, 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 nothing. Ah, wind. Go. Alright, time to climb up as high up as we can get and then jump off. This is good enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, it put us like several tiles away. back to the castle. I 100% agree, Seeker. <laughs> Capes need to make a comeback. And not like short capes, like capes down to the ground that like kick up into the air as you walk. Yeah, I guess if you're operating heavy machinery, you probably don't want to cape on. <laughs> right, 1087. 591. 600. Okay. Yeah, we'll save. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't played too much um, Final Fantasy. 12 for a home, but yeah, that's my understanding as well. Is it, it's a game about programming, programming correctly, so that when you get into fights, they just go by smoothly. Okay, so I was wrong about the warp wings in return. I guess they just always turn you, bring you back to the castle, which is a little annoying. How much is easier to get back to like the last town you visited or something? That's true, Sentai is still escaped, guys. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a period where Every JRPG, they're trying to do something new. Yeah. I feel like through the, like, Super Nintendo, even PlayStation 1 era, with games like Parasite Eve and stuff. No. I loved Parasite Eve. I know, you know, many people 
didn't really care for it that much. But I appreciate they were trying something, like, different with it. So after Dragon Quest II, um, I think the big RPG I'm going to play is Final Fantasy III, uh, which I'll probably start in April. Um, after that, I should probably play Dragon Quest III, um, but I really want to play Romancing Saga II. I never played the Breath of Fire games. I always read about them in Nintendo Power and I was like, oh, this looks so cool. But I never actually got around to playing them myself. And that was when until, uh, like, Play PlayStation 2 era, when um, Dragon Quarter came out. Breath of Fire. <laughs> Thank you, Seeker. Uh, I don't really need to rest of the inn. I guess I'll sell my stuff. Yeah, Voxandra really likes uh, Romancing Saga too, and Saga Frontier, um, which I want to play that as well. seems really interesting to me, just as, like, a roguelike before roguelikes were really popular in the, like, public eye. Is 5 Dragon Quarter, or is Dragon Quarter 6, technically? That's fair. It definitely was going for something different. <laughs> or at least that's what it seemed like to me. I played a little bit during my debut. Use one of your favorite PlayStation games? Nice. Okay, I think I sold everything I want to sell. Back to the, the two towers. We should be able to cross over now. play um, Saga Frontier as well, but I thought Romancing Saga 2 might be, like, a better starting place? <laughs> I don't know how true that is. That's just how it seems to me. I had Saga Frontier when I was, like, I was younger, but I never really got anywhere in it. different from those. Yeah, I hear it is certainly unique. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, the other, um, Pretty sure it's like north ish of the castle. <laughs> well done, Gwen. You missed all of them.
Okay, well, that's not the right place. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely some RPGs that we did not get, which are very interesting to me, like Romancing Saga, for instance. Um, there's also Treasure of the Rudra, I think it's called. That's another game I really am interested in. Hey, have I been over here before? Yeah. And like the RPGs we did get, you know, some of them, they really changed a lot for expectations of like, Americans won't like these. So, you know, they made Final Fantasy IV really easy. Um, I want to say that was part of the reason for why V never came out is people were worried it was too complex. Yeah, we never got Live, Al Live Alive. Um, I think they were in the process of translating Final Fantasy 2, but they didn't bother because uh, the Super Nintendo was already out at that point. Oh, Metal Lee. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> This is the desert we went through, and then up here. Nice. Okay, that went well. to sleep? Oh, man. <laughs> Live Alive is another one I want to play on stream at some point. I did play it um, like when the first fan translation came out. So that was a while ago, because I think it came out like early 2000s. Travelers, did you know? No. This is one of the famous twin towers known as the Drakhorns. In the past, they were supposed to be connected by a suspension bridge. But now, look at it, what a wreck. How can anyone get across now? Well, if we have a cape that lets us float, maybe we can make it. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. This is just tower music, I guess. Well, at least this is a lot easier to navigate than the, the last tower I went through. 
<laughs> Unless this has another very obvious staircase that I missed at the beginning. Oh, Enchanter. Something tells me the Enchanter should probably die first. Eh, not quite at the top yet. Here we are. Huh? We made it. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic, honestly. Oh, Mega Baboon. No, ma Magaboon. <laughs> I think it should have just been Mega Baboon. <laughs> oh, a town. Beautiful town. Oh, what are you, Mud Doll? the town of Le Leonport. Time to question everyone and buy what we can. Is that a bunny girl <laughs> over there? You may now record your quest in a journal right here. Life keeps getting more convenient. One experience point. Wow. And go, Elter. God smile upon the just. Oh, this is a temple. Oh, you don't have a priest sprite. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to the bunny girl. You think I look cute? Want a powder puff massage? Uh, n no. No, thank you. Oh, she's cute. Be nice to her. O okay. <laughs> All right, here's the inn. Laddies, get lost. Hey, lassie, you want some chicken? <laughs> hired me as a guard. I came west from Alephgard. Yeah, weird pickup line. <laughs> that kingdom has changed a lot. I hear rumors now that the king has even gone missing. Uh-oh. Slots. Okay. Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, I was close. 
I'll give you a slot token. Oh! So if I get two out of three, we can play again? I still don't know if this is just random chance or if there's supposed to be skill involved. Ah. wish to sail a boat, but our tradition forbids us from loaning boats to outsiders. <laughs> what? I apologize, but I cannot. It's a weird town. Just offering people chicken. Saying we can't loan our boats to people. <laughs> There's clearly something happening off, off to the left there. Wizard staff. A knife, steel sword, evade armor, steel armor, steel shield, okay. Our traditions may seem strange to you, and they are. Okay, so this is an upgrade for Eric and Gwen. It's 5,000. I can totally upgrade everyone. Alright, let's do it. I using as an item in battle. Okay. has everything available from here. Oh, actually this is an increase for Elter as well. What? Wow, okay. This more than doubles Gwen's defense. I'll hold on to the spear just in case the, uh, Wizard 1 doesn't work like I think it does. Alright. Now we're all equipped. Sail east to reach Alephgard. Long ago, the brave warrior Lodo and Lady Laura came from there. This is a port, so all sorts of people gather here. You're a traveler, aren't you? you? Can't go without the items I sell. But you're not gonna sell them to me? <laughs> now you are, okay. Amulet? What does this do? Well, you have to tell me what it does first. <laughs> I'm not just going to buy an amulet for 600 gold. Alright, what's going on over here? Help! Those monsters! I, I don't know, they're kind of cute. Kiki, hand her over. No, I don't think so. Kiki, fools! You can join her as our feast. Oh, they are cute gremlins! <laughs> Some chicken instead. Alright, let's try using the wizard staff as an item. Oh, cool. Okay, 
so you can't just straight up attack with it too. Good. I got the one experience point I needed. Thank you for saving me. Please come with me and meet my grandfather. Please follow me. Okay. <laughs> we have to walk the whole way, huh? Grandfather, may I have a word? You saved my granddaughter. I don't know how to thank you. Ah, yes, I know. I will loan you my boat. That is about all I could do. Please, feel free to sell her. I'm eternally grateful to you. I'll try to stay clear of danger. Farewell. Okay, so we can take a, take a boat. I'm sure there's more to find here, though. At least, I'm assuming there is. Is there anything over here? <laughs> I hope there's a reason to go through that. Nope. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's keep going. Let's explore the rest of this area. Wow, they can actually melee things to death now. Oh, there's a little break here. Oh, and a shrine. Enchanter, Reaper, Ma Magaboon. Just stares in the ground. Hello. That door needs the gold key. I've heard some rumors. Oh? Do tell. A man on an island somewhere has it. <laughs> Just an island somewhere. But I have no boat, so I've yet to open that door. Sad, eh? Okay, so a man on an island somewhere in the world has the gold key. Gotcha. Why not? <laughs> Makes total sense to me, I guess. Yeah, the, the uh, hint given for the cape was the same thing. Like, it's in a tower. Somewhere. <laughs> Don't know where. I've heard a very specific rumor. Okay, so there's a portal there behind that gold door. Oh, thank you for the stretch and hydrate seeker. Oh boy, can we kill this before it runs away? Actually, need to get some more water. A circle around this area. See if there's anything to find. Uh, 
Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's not good at all. Okay. Okay, there's nothing in this stretch of land besides the town and the shrine. Got it. My granddaughter's heroes. Will you sail? Go right through. Will we sail? Alright, I'm gonna grab some water, uh, and I will be right back. Oh, did I fall asleep? <laughs> I am back. Let us sail. Oh. Oh, okay. think. Wow, oh, what a pleasant song. I think I have been to these places. I guess I should look for an island <laughs> somewhere. I was wondering if I was going to have encounters on the, uh, on the open sea or not. Oh, that was, like, made recently? Hmm. That's a good question. I feel like most, like, modern RPGs are very directed in terms of, like, where they want you to go and stuff. Hawkman? Sea slug. Could you fail so miserably? Oh, sorry. Uh 
Oh, so they bring me back, but not my friends. Okay, cool. The Justice Society. Oh, because Hawkman. I get it. So I have to pay. So they take money away from you, and you still have to pay to revive everyone else. Okay, we're at full health and MP at least, so that's something. Where'd my boat go? <laughs> oh, it's back here. Okay, good. Oh, secret. My ship sank in a vicious storm. I was lucky enough to be saved by a passing ship, but the treasure on board went down with my ship. If you could salvage my treasure... I will repay you most handsomely. You want to tell me where? <laughs> or anything? This was my idea for lazy VTuber group fan art. Draw one of them. The rest is Dragon Quest Coffins. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's good they left me with some money. Okay, so this guy's missing um, ship treasure somewhere. And there's a man on an island, also somewhere, with the golden key. Oh, storing gold in the bank. That's a good idea. So he said to the west was Alephgard, I believe. Oh, maybe this is it. Well, <laughs> I was gonna like I was gonna be like, well, I'll just follow the path. But then the path ends immediately. Wild mouse. It's dead. Where did I actually land? <laughs> Somewhere easy, it seems like. <laughs> yeah, Wild Maroonie. This game just doesn't mess around. Yeah, it, it sure seems like it. I've been waiting for you. Dear Prince, hear me out, please. There are two kinds of keys, the silver key and the gold key. There are also two kinds of doors. First, find the silver key. It supposedly lies hidden away in the Lake Cade, west of Canock. Okay, I've been here before. Eh? You already got the silver key? You are impressive, my prince. Yep, no big deal. Okay, so I've been here before. Yeah, that's what I've heard is leveling and stuff is a lot easier in this game. And they rebalance some, like, spells and stuff to do more damage in your favor. Alright, pile back into the boat. <laughs> this is not the right area. Oh my god. 
Hawk men do a lot of damage. So I, I don't really want to mess with them too much. I get a sense of like how big is the world map, you know? It doesn't seem like that big since I was able to sail west and get back to like an opening area. Although maybe it's larger vertically than horizontally. <laughs> I haven't hit any land masses yet. Slugs got on my boat. Uh, <laughs> well, now I'm really lost. I was like, I'm just gonna sail north until I you know, wrap around. So that's actually pretty substantial in terms of how big the world is. <laughs> Star Tropics flashbacks. That's a game I need to play on stream soon. Oracle. Have you obtained the evil statue? No? The evil statue sleeps deep in a cave in the middle of the sea. Only those bearing the moon shard may enter that cave, however. Visit the village of Toon. Okay. Then proceed to the southern foot of Rhone's Mountains. Enter the swamp and raise the evil statue to heave to the heavens and a miracle will come. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you happen to have any keys? I could really use a key. Well, not the right island. I, I guess this is useful. Probably write this down, right? Alright, evil statue. Cave in the middle of the sea. And those bearing the moon shard may enter that cave. Moon shard cave. Is it village of two? With evil statue, go to southern foot of Rones Mountains. Use statue in swam. Okay. And a miracle will come, whatever that means. Not the gold key I was looking for, but that's something. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this is the hero's spring or whatever. Move this island to wait for you. If you really wanted to help, you'd tell me where the gold key was. Uh, I'm guessing this is the actual Hero Spring cave. cute little island <laughs> with nothing on it. a series of islands, but nothing on them, it seems like. fish. Hmm. Oh, okay, the jellyfish are not that tough. to like stick kind of close to land masses <laughs> so I have some sense of where I am.
and they really just want you to go out and explore, huh? <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to get back to where I was. That's the coast. Let's wrap around. There's a bridge there. It's so hard to tell, like, where I've been and where I have it. <laughs> it's the thing. Oh, Medusa Eye. I think I'm back at the shrine. Or not? What's this, this? Oh, this seems new. Kind of. This is where the shrine is. <laughs> okay. Not new at all, in fact. Right, maybe I'll sail down the coast. And we'll go around along the, like, the southern coast and see if there's anything over there. about this game. <laughs> the lack of direction is a little annoying. Okay, 
Everyone had a lovely snooze that battle. Actually, multiple snoozes. <laughs> oh, something here. Oh. What is that? How do I get to it? He stepped off the boat into an encounter. Orcs! Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I guess from their perspective, we're the jerks. Oh, there's a town down there, too. This is Baron, the city of water. Stay clear of the cells. It's not safe. On key. World Leaf is said to be able to revive the dead. Oh, okay. It's rumored that the King of Osterfair has the Moon Seal. Okay, that's not the Moon Shard. Have you been to Osterfair? It's far south of Larassia by ship. You just said a whole lot of things. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Is Larassia the opening the opening town, maybe? I can sell weapons and armor. Oh, a hammer. A dragon sword. I want it. <laughs> A heel shield. Iron armor. Wow, so many things. Okay, he'll only give us eleven twenty five for it. save up and get the dragon sword. Where's your other friend? Uh-oh. Oh, he's ill? If so, we could tend to him while he recovers. Oh no. Eric. Ah, Elter. I have a message from the king. The sun seal is said to be in the flame shrine. What about Prince Eric's curse? What am I to say to the king? Hmm. Eric, what'd you do? I, I can't move. I think Hargon has laid a curse on me. Fortunately, it affects me alone. I I'm probably doomed. Go on without me. Erg. Oh my god. I heard of your friend's plight. A curse has left him paralyzed. Could it be that you are trying to defeat Hargon and his monster army? That's insane! Anyway, <laughs> I will pray for your courage and the gods protect you. Yeah, we made our saving throws. By weaving some dew yarn, a holy loom, you get a water robe. 
there is only one person in the whole world who can make it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks? I want to get a Thunder Sword. Even those who can't cast spells can use it to call lightning forth. You're all saying a lot of words. Hey, you can clear curses, right? Damn, let's select him. Oh, there's a teleport up there. Oh, your friend has been struck down by Hargon's wrath? I don't know what to say. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to give me a hint or something. Let me know? Oh, yeah, okay. Save this in slot two, just in case. There's a small island that lies in the far east. A single world tree grows there. The world tree is said to shed just one precious leaf at a time. <laughs> yeah, that's rough, buddy. So the leaf can bring someone back from the dead. So I don't think that is what is going to cure the curse here. Of the dead. <laughs> well, he killed them first. Oh. Oh, okay. A world leaf is said to be able to revive the dead. Though Hargon may be able to cast fatal curses from afar, this is not Roan where he is dominant. His curse should be weaker here. Perhaps it would be possible to save your friend with a world leaf. Okay, so she said a island far to the east. Hey, Bill, thank you. I just lost one of my party members. <laughs> now I have to go on a quest to save him. There's a small island that lies in the far east. A single world tree grows there. The world tree is said to shed just one precious leaf at a time. Okay. Far to the east, you say. Well? <laughs> well? <laughs> Dragonfly and face tree! Question is, do I want to go up to that shrine or not? Orcs uh, pack a punch. How much was that helmet? This is Eltriox defense by ten. Okay, question is do I go to the shrine or do I just go straight? Oh, I can't get to the shrine from here. It's all blocked off by mountains. Okay, well, to the boat then. Head east. Uh, we we head <laughs> we head east.
And I hope it's like a straight shot east. Yeah, the music in this game is really good. There was one track I didn't really care for. <laughs> the one that plays in the towers, but otherwise... Very good, very good work. Yup, <laughs> they sure did. <laughs> Melt those songs for all they're worth. I don't think this is the small island spoken of. You didn't kill any of them. Well, at least they all attacked instead of trying to put us to sleep. Never mind. small island be? It does say far to the east, so... I'm certainly going far to the east. That's cool, I guess. Now that was an Infernos. At least you took out two of them. Is this it? So after the very bottom of the ocean found absolutely nothing. The world leaf. Nice. Okay. I'll have to sail back and give this to Eric. And our party will be reunited. We should follow this coastline back up <laughs> so that we know what we're doing. Here-ish, I think. HP, come on. I 
I do not have money. Okay. Almost 7k. Wait, is this an island too? Curiosity. Nope, nothing here. Okay. Ace trees. Oh, jeez. hit hard. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> if I got punched by a tree, I'd probably feel it in the morning. Oh, there's something down here, too? An empty island, it seems like. Hmm. Didn't miss on too much experience, at least. Would be fine if he showed up and it's just like, oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Sorry. boiled the world leaf and placed it in Eric's mouth. Color returned to Eric's face. Eric's health was restored. Thanks, I'm all better. I'm sorry for all the trouble I put you through. Let's get going. a new quest added. Interesting. Oh, well, we definitely need to stay at the inn. And hey, now I have enough money to buy a, a cool sword. Or I should after selling my old sword. sword. There goes all of our money. Worth it. Okay, I should probably take note of the hints dropped to us. I'm glad Prince Eric is fine. I won't have to take bad news back. Oh, have you found the sun seal? No? The sun seal is said to be in the flame shrine. The name is any indication. It must be a blazing red hot place. Okay. I say yes. That's wonderful to hear, Elter. Oh, okay. Maybe you could tell me what it is or what I use it for? Learn of your friend's plight. The curse is left and paralyzed. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll pray for your courage. May the gods protect you. Thanks. <laughs> Good for you. Get out of my face. By weaving some dew yarn with the holy loom, you get a water robe. There was one thing that was like, oh, if you go south from La Rossia, then there's another place you can find. It's a safe person. Divine wrath will strike him down. Hmm, I thought there was one other person who told me something. Uh, it could have been the person here. I thought the king of Ostrofair is the moon seal. Have you been to Ostrofair? Oh, this is it. It's far south of Lorasia by ship. Okay. Do I know what Lorasia is? <laughs> Should I know what that is? Is that my 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 town? Am I the prince of Lorasia? Or is Eric the prince of Lorasia? Or am I wrong about both of those? <laughs> it is, okay. It is a place, okay. Ow! Oh, there's a world map in the manual? Oh, that'd be amazing, Bill. so much. Those three, no more is five. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, I wanted to, I, I linked this in my tweet uh, and in the Discord, but the box art for the Game Boy Color versions, um, they greatly differ. Let's see, um, so the Japanese art is great. Um, that's this. This is super cute. I love the box art for the Japanese version of the Game Boy Color versions. Uh, the American art, on the other hand, uh, where is it? There it is. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Don't look at any character too closely, or you—they might haunt you. It's so goofy. <laughs> The the monsters don't look too bad, but the actual like player characters, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Dragon Quest to
Okay, so Lorassia is the starting castle. Straight south of that is Ostrafair. Okay, I'm in Baron right now. And Leonport is where I left from. Oh, that's Tantagal right there. Okay, interesting. Hamlin. Okay, so not everything is on this map. They don't they don't list where Toon is, for instance. I'm guessing Roan Mountains are central southern part here. Okay. So that helps. Quite a bit. <laughs> Is there any way up? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, Hork. <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm sorry, what is this monster called? A Hork? Well, I crit the Hork. Yeah, the zombie sprites are really good. Big fan of them. Hurking <laughs> orc. Peak enemy design. <laughs> ah, poison. can't use any spells. Yeah, they were like orc something. Orc bajir or something like that. Oh, thank you, Seeker. around here somewhere. There it is. Please tell me you have a gold key. Argon's temple evokes soothing calm in all those who enter it. But it's a mirage. Don't be fooled. Seek a guidance from an elemental. Oh, you've got three teleports here. Isn't this great? Those traveler's gates should take you to some exciting places. But there's no getting at them you don't have the gold key. Where the heck could it be? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Boy. <laughs> oh, they weren't kidding. <laughs> I need that gold key. Alright, so another thing I can do right, right here right now. There are some islands on this world map. I have to go check those out. Oh, 
I'm gonna check down here. Ow. <laughs> Anything down here? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Killed Gwen. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, we can fight the one basilisk. Well, depending on how much it costs to raise Gwen, I might be able to buy that helmet. Getting confused by this shop. I keep going in and being like, well, where is the where is the person? Oh, 3150, okay. Should check. Oh, you're not wearing a helmet at all. Okay. All right. So, there is an island not too far from here, it seems like. Oh, well, that was <laughs> not really worth it. Sailed two tiles. Oh, 
Oh, almost 100 damage. <laughs> that would be the highest uh, we've done so far. I mean, 98 still is. Okay, so if I go straight east from, like, the southern tip of this continent... Oh, yeah, it's just this island. There's a couple other islands, it looks like, if I keep going this way. There's the World Tree Island, and a couple by that. not there, then there is an island by that shrine that, like, kind of has the underground passage. Calm down. Oh. Let's see, Eltrock fell asleep. That was a bad, bad ambush. Everyone left without taking me. I'm so alone. Oh no. Arf, arf. I mean, the dog's still here. Wow, this is, this is not a town. The icon on the map was very misleading. I can't do anything there without the old key. Oh, warlock! Alright, I think the enemies around here are a little too, a little too much for us to take right now. The World Tree Island was there. There's a bigger island here. Hey, nice. 
Ooh, very nice. <laughs> and 420 gold, nice. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Oh. Please have a gold key for me, please. Just have teleports here. Why? <laughs> oh. Okay. I think that's the guy that gave him the silver key. Okay, and this is a, a different place. This is the other shrine north of uh, the port city. Or, no, north of where we, our friend got sick. And this one? These? Gold key? Yes? For me? This looks promising. If you are truly a hero of Lodo's blood, prove it with Lodo's seal. Oh my god. Be gone, you fool. Another jerk that wants Lodo's seal. Where am I? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, this, this shit again. <laughs> So this is just a self-contained island as well. Oh no, it's not. That looks suspicious. Nothing was found. That's like the most obvious signposting for a <laughs> for something. Whoa, saber tiger. Cool. Oh, wait. Is this a uh, Dracolord's castle? Oh, two attacks. Yeah, 
totally is. Okay, I, I don't want to explore this just yet. I think I know where this is, in case I want to sail back here. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, this is, um, Antigel. This is the same place where I had to, I needed the seal before. It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. Oh, man. Oh my god. Those things do not have much health, but they have a lot of attack. <laughs> oh man, I want that cool helmet. <laughs> okay, well if we go straight north from this island, I think it'll bring us back to, it'll bring us to Ostrafair. Ferris Island. Question. Five, five HP is fine. Hey, <laughs> Dr. Nick Up. I have not seen any dragons. I have not seen a single dragon. Hey, okay, guy. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm not seeing one, one dragon. Oh, I'm questing for them. Okay, okay. Fair enough.
Goose Line Quest. <laughs> I suppose that's true, yeah. If I saw a dragon immediately, I guess the quest would be over. <laughs> Thank you, okay guy. Is is a long quest. Um where's the castle? There it is. Oh god, are these things gonna murder me? Evil trees. Here's nice. Okay, good. <laughs> Are you going into the stadium? Don't treat your life cheaply. Oh no, Skeleton Witch. The dragon was just the friends I made along the way. Oh, it's like a dragon, yes. Our king likes to watch battles in the stadium. A bit too much so. We made a traveler fight a saber lion recently. The man was badly hurt. Oh no. Some die some days saving the world is its own reward, and some days you get punched in the face by a tree. It's true. Oh, there's a little teleport here. Alright, where's this go? I'm assuming we have to fight in the stadium if we want the moon seal. Ah, oh, I need the gold key. Yeah, it's a good effect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think these were, like, pretty early Game Boy Color games. I think they were compatible with uh, regular Game Boy as well. So you could play this in the original colors if you wanted. And we're pretty wounded, so I'm gonna not fight in the stadium just yet. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna get murdered now. <laughs> She survived. Alter must live to use the repellent. <laughs> Quinn removed the repellent from Alter's coffin. Sound redeem of me saying, okay, we're gonna get murdered now. Okay, let's hope this repellent holds. Oh, there's a difference in FPS between low and high res on real hardware. Oh, random one tile shrine. Easiest dungeon ever. Oh, I think this is where we need the moon, the moon shard, a Minecraft like shrine. I think this is the cave at the 
in the middle of the sea, maybe? The moon shard. <laughs> yes, with a D. I forget. <laughs> the moon does that? Oh god. I think when yeah, nose repel. Uh, she doesn't have much MP left. No, it didn't work. race against against time um I'm looking for wait I need to get off out of the sea because then we'll have much easier enemies to contend with okay Just dragging my two friends coffins through the through the wilderness. No big deal. And desperately for a church. Ah, okay, we made it. <laughs> Summon the wayward soul of Elter. <laughs> Surely you jest. Elter is alive. Oh, okay. That was scary. Dragon slain. Oh nope, they're they're back to life. Time to re-slay them. Well, I can afford one of those helmets if I go all the way back to the other town. But I do have other islands to check out. Uh... I want to circle all the way around. Okay. It is! <laughs> it is fucked up. And my friends are dead. Just bring them back to life. Well, you know, she weighed down all the the sails and stuff with the, the corpses of her friends. So that made things a little bit easier. I've been here? I'm assuming I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> He's never steered so sure. Okay, well, these islands are nothing. Dang. They really make you scour the whole world. <laughs> Before you find the gold key.
<laughs> These islands are filled with monsters. Yum. Just making sure there's nothing else. Okay, that goes to uh, Austeria. Okay, so if I follow this up and around. Oops. Too far to the left. Should lead to the the strait that connects Larassia's continent and Hamlet's continent. Oh, well, that's a lot of jellyfish. So there's the cave. Oh, what is this? Please. Golden key. Oh no, this is just a side. Okay, I remember this. This is like the side tunnel you can go down. No golden key. If I follow this, it should open up a bit more, and there's a couple other islands I can check out. thing too is once I find the golden key I have to go through the joyful wonderful experience of trying to remember all the places I found a gold door <laughs> Interesting. I think the island is to the east of here, maybe? Okay. 
Okay, well, here's an island. It has nothing on it. <laughs> God damn it. about the islands. They're all bad. <laughs> okay, nothing on that island. Maybe another one to the southwest. Oh, did I accidentally land? <laughs> Whoops. say. Hello? I have no idea where you may have heard about them. Are you trying to find the five seals too? Uh, no. And it's best that you left. The lighthouse is a monster's lair. You'll never come out alive. Uh, yeah. Seals are not objects. They are markings of the soul. In your strength, they are engraved. That's why I was told. Don't ask me what that might mean, though. Okay, so this is not the shrine to find the golden key. But it probably is plot relevant, at the very least. How badly am I going to get owned if I go in here? Let's find out. Organs Enchanter Mummy Man. Okay, well that wasn't too terrible, but definitely on the more difficult end. I'll remember this place is here and come back later. For now, I still need the damn golden key. Although I'm kind of out of islands at this point. At least islands that are marked on the map. Oh, there's one there. Okay, so southeast from here. of dealing with these things. Thank you, Seeker. Hydrate and stretch. Good idea. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thank you, New Zero. Alright, so if I follow this... Oh, no, you can't go that way. Go here? Ah! Can not follow this through? Well, there's an island there, but it has nothing on it. Hmm. Oh. I see a couple more. Okay. Love island hunting <laughs> for the one specific island that has the golden key on it. Yay, level for Gwen. Spell antidote. Great. Okay, so if we follow this around, it's a lighthouse. So I'm going to follow this all the way up to the north. I can sail around the northern, like, edge. West. That should get me where I need to go. Cast Repel. I'll save my sanity for a little bit. <laughs> Up a little bit, and then all the way west. Probably hit land. I hit land. 
Oh? 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 Oh, this is just the Oracle. <laughs> Damn it. I've already been here. I'm out of here. Yeah, well, that's not it. <laughs> I've already been to these islands then, because I looked at them before. Huh. Well, I'm I'm stumped. Whoa. Vampirus? Oh my god. Eric is just dead. Too far from that town. should be around here, I think. Oh, they do give you more specific info somewhere. Okay. I don't remember where the church is here. Ah, oh, there you are. It's also a little bullshit. Oh, okay. Is it like you have to search on a specific, like, island or something? No, okay. This is the boat place. Okay, so I must have gone. Back to dock or something.
Alright, well, if we sail east from here, we should get to Owl of Guard, which I think is right here. One piece of this area might technically count as, a, as an island. <laughs> The old music, cool. If you become cursed, come see me. I'm a veteran at lifting curses. I'm still capable. Oh, repel. This is the town of Tentagel. The castle and the village were apart in the past, but not anymore. You got steel sword hammer made steel oh good he's got the iron helmet here so i can just buy it and okay, nothing else is actual upgrade Except the amulet, I still don't know what it does, so I refuse to buy. <laughs> hmm. To open any door with a gold frame, a gold key is what you need. Yeah, no kidding. King has gone missing. His kingdom is doomed. Let light shine on the progeny of the legendary warrior. Thanks. Are you descendants of the brave hero Lodo? Yeah, I thought so. Welcome back to Tantagel. I say no. Oh, I was wrong again. <laughs> I was wrong again. Long ago, Lady Laura left the castle on a long journey. A young man who saved the world. 
I wonder how many years have passed since that story was first told. Welcome back to Tangikel. Thanks. Welcome, Lordo's children. Alright. I'm guessing this is the actual church up here. Have you heard about the sunken treasure? No. Oh. The merchant who lives. Uh. Hello. Uh, Rakugaki Showtime. Uh, yeah, yeah. What about it? Docks in Leonport is supposed to have been a very wealthy man. People say he lost his fortune when his ship sank in the northern sea, as it was so weighted down with the merchant's precious cargo. A northern sea, that kind of narrows it down. If you see the sea glitter, that is where the treasure sank. I actually got a pseudo-sequel on PS2 called Tiny Toon Adventures, Defenders of the Universe, also by Treasure. It was finished but never released. Oh, interesting. I'll have to track that down. Thank you for letting me know. Wait, what, did, what did this person say? If you see the sea glitter, that's where the treasure sank. Oh, you must be the descendants of Lodo the hero. What an honor! Our king has gone into hiding out of fear of Hargon. How humiliating. Oh, cool. Yeah, I won't play that sometime. Okay, well, nothing to be found here besides... We know the king is missing. <laughs> he went into hiding. I think he was in that one building that was locked behind a gold door. But of course, I don't have the gold key, so that doesn't really help me. Okay. You know, since I'm here, <laughs> this is an island. That's wild. Yeah, it's weird that a, a game would get that far in development and not actually release. And that's a really late for Treasure, too, because they're not really active anymore. have to track that ROM down and give it a shot. Yeah, Conspiracy Entertainment had a mystery behind it. I'm just kind of randomly flailing around at this point. <laughs> There's a chest up there. Oh, gremlin, organ.
Well, at least they seem to have vastly simplified this dungeon. This is right. sword. Oh! Oh. <laughs> it's a downgrade. Well. <laughs> I've got it. The most powerful sword in the game in Dragon Quest 1 is, eh, it's, it's fine. Maybe I can find a way to, like, power it up or something. Tiny Toons Adventure. I have to write that down. This looks familiar. That was damage floor. Right? Oh, but there's treasure. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, steel armor that I already have. And strength seed. Just in case if I if it auto uses the strength seed. Okay, you can choose. Oof, <laughs> that hurts. Quite a lot. map we get here is helpful. I mean that there is a world map. What? But if you to come, Elter, I am the great grandson of the King of Kings, Draco Lord. I have heard some Hargon fancies himself to be something special, and carries on as if he were so. I am not amused. If you agree to eliminate Hargon, I will tell you a secret. Well, I mean, I was planning on eliminating Hargon anyway, so yeah, sure. Ah, you'll do it then. Good. Collect the five seals. That will give you the protection of an elemental spirit. There is a small island south of the town that was once known as Mercado. That is where you must first go. Without the five seals and without the power of the elemental spirit, Argon cannot be defeated. Okay. South of the town that was once known as Mercado. Which town was Mercado? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the great grandson of the Draco Lord is just some dude. Uh, let's see. Q1 Mercado. Okay, this is the city where the, the, um, turn left where the Terry Queen used to be. This is where the, uh, the Golem was that we had to put to sleep. Uh, does it say on the map where that is? Mercado. Okay, so it's, like, middle south of Alephgard. Okay, so he, he's just telling us to go to the, the lighthouse next, it looks like. Okay, well, that's fine. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well, that was good. Mercado is known as Cantlin. Oh, okay. Alright, Eric, outside. Well, not what I was looking for, but helpful, nonetheless. Wow, it's a world map. Oh, this is slightly more helpful. There is, like, another island I see that I haven't been to, like, east of that kind of light blue region. Hmm. I don't think I've been there. I think everywhere else I have been. Oh, maybe not that one that's, like, far in the southeast. And then that, like, single dot, I think, is where I need the moon shard. Yeah, with a D. <laughs> I 
it's getting a little late, but I do want to check out those last two islands. Just so I don't forget where I've been. Oh, it only costs six gold here because it's the first town in <laughs> Dragon Quest One. That's cool. Oh, hey, hey, you're holding random stuff. Hold on to the Lodo Sword. our ship. Yeah, I think I can sail out east from here. And back around that peninsula. Got a hundred over a hundred. That's the first time. Well done. Quite a bit south. Well, that's handy. That's something that actually like pinpoints where we are now. Go there. I hope that's not it. Okay, so the other one is way to the southeast.
I've been here, right? I think I have. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Closer, I think. Just to the east. here too. Oh, is this, is this the tutorial to teleport? The tutorial? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. I guess let's check out this town. Welcome to the port of Zahan. All the men are out fishing now. When I get big, I'm going to be a great fisherman just like my dad. I'm Tarn's wife. My husband loved animals. He especially loved dogs. Three years ago, in the winter, he never returned from fishing. I was praying for our men to return safely, so what happened to Tarn would never happen again. In the spring, my boyfriend Luke is coming back from fishing. Oh, Luke. <laughs> I know a secret. Grandma said there's a cave in the sea surrounded by corals. To get into the cave, you have to have a moon shard. Oh, okay. That's the moon shard ca cave that we saw. Hmm, so what is the place where I was like, I went down like several floors? Wah! That dog barks and pulls my sleeve. I'm scared of it. Wah! Arf, arf, arf! Oh? Arf, arf, arf! Got there, buddy. <gasps> the gold key! Oh, I found it! <laughs> yes, finally! <laughs> oh my god. Some dog <laughs> knew where the key was the whole time. Wait, it talks? <laughs> Is that Tarn? Reincarnated? Reincarnated? Wow. Turn back. Misfortune will fall upon anyone desecrating the temple. Yeah, it's all damage floor. Even if I could get in there, I don't have the key for that. Oh, it's just his dog, okay. Wonderful. There are almost no men here. <laughs> wonderful. Really wonderful. Oh boy. I have terrible news. The fish boat carrying the men of this town was sunk by monsters. I came to deliver that word. But my goodness, how should I? Don't think too hard about the laughs. Okay. Perfectly normal dog. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I guess all the many are dead, so that sucks. When the night is lit by a moon shard, the sea does rise. It's an old saying in this town. <laughs> that was a normal talk. <laughs> Even while the men are out at sea fishing, we women are still busy. We still have to take care of our darling children, too. Also the duck hunt dog, that's very true. I think it's just a dog thing, you know? Okay, I don't have the key to actually get back there, so trying to trying to go through the damage floor is probably not worth it. Well, we finally have a dang gold key. <laughs> I wonder if my boat will stay here. I like get the teleporter and leave. So if we go straight north, we'll go back to Larasia. Man, finally. <laughs> well, I'm glad I found that map now. Really glad. Because that island is not on the map in the manual. That's covered up by the compass. Uh, it's like slightly under the compass where it would be. Oh, it actually, yeah, it might, it might be under, like, the part of the rose. That's a dirty trick. <laughs> I guess that makes, make sure you go find the world map in-game. Gold key in hand, there's so much that's opened up for me now. Oh boy. Almost too much. So next time... I'll certainly be exploring all the doors I can open. There is one more key I still have to find, though. At least, at least one. Oh, <laughs> Ornea, hello, welcome. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? Shout out there. How was your stream? What were you up to? Did I just sail? Too far north. Oh, Bloodlines. Nice. How'd you like it? Was this your first time or have you played it before? Yeah, it is. 
it is a Source Engine game. Came out, like, the year before Half-Life 2, even, right? It was kind of the first Source Engine game. <laughs> the jank is real. Well, I hope you had fun. At the very least. I just finished scouring the world for the gold key, and I finally found it. So I'm sailing back to Lorneus to uh, just save and end for the evening. So thank you for the thank you for the raid. really childish. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't really played it myself, so I can't really comment on that. Is it like trying too hard to be edgy? Sounds like it could be a bit annoying. <laughs> hmm, I see. <laughs> Oh, yeah, totally. from here. Oh, yep, there it is. Didn't know what the others are doing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that sounds like a mess. <laughs> Alright, well, first things first. We have to plunder our own uh, castle's treasury. dares to enter here. Prepare to meet your maker, thief. Oops, Prince Alter. I beg your pardon. Got a mystic nut. Oh, the Lotto Seal. <gasps> Perfect. Okay. Well, I know where to take this. Drink seed. A bunch of money. And life acorn. Gwen. Actually, Gwen should probably use the health, the life seed, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard that game had a lot of issues when it came out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Gamma Chris, hello. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? <laughs> and 
do not have this key. I think they might be stuck in an ad. <laughs> Quest for keys is not yet over. I need one more, I think. Maybe more. Got a shout out to Chris there. I'm sure he'll say something <laughs> once he's here. Hello, yes. Yes, you made it over. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Did you finish uh, Kirby? Neo Zero, thank you for gifting a sub to Chris. Nice. How did you like it? I've never played um, Kirby 3 before. <laughs> and Wolf dancing to your heart's delight now. Well, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Eltriok. I'm an alien from the planet Varen. And I am studying humanity through the medium of retro video games. Dragon Quest 2 for the first time. I'm not bothering to fight this slime. Actually, we should stay at the inn. I was gonna save and wrap up for the night, but I did just find Lotus Seal. I know where to use that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Delightful experience. Awesome! Glad to hear it. here. I've been better to come approach from the west, but yeah, it's fine. We'll get there. So I just finished a basically world <laughs> world scouring quest to find the golden key. And I finally found it. So once I pick up the game next week, um, I'll be trying to remember all the places where I need a gold key for. But, at the very least, we can, uh... Turn in the seal. Hello, Zero. You made it over. Welcome. somewhere. Yeah, so that island southeast of Alephgard. to get. I've waited so long for this. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry, Drop. For brave Lotos children to come. To you, I present Lotos helmet. Thanks. What's this? The Loto helmet? <laughs> Alright. Question. Can Eric use this? No. I guess I bought that other helmet for <laughs> not real any real benefit, but that's okay. All right. Oh yeah, there's this teleport in the back. This goes to the gold area. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. I need to find a save point. <laughs> I guess we can go harass the King of Tanticle first. Got some more clothes. All right, everyone, pile back on the ship. This is one of those games where it feels like once you know what you're doing, you can finish a playthrough pretty quickly. Where's that king? Oh, there's a door here too. Hello? I sell sewing supplies. Do you need some dew yarn? Uh, uh, sure? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sold out. Wait, what? <laughs> dew yarn is a gift from the sky. It is blown by the winds to the north, tower of the two Drakorn towers. Oh. Okay. It's always on the third floor. Okay. Let me write that down. Do yarn. Third floor. North. Rack horn. Tower. Okay. And that has to be brought to a specific uh, loom. Actually, use. Oh, thanks for the follow, Garo. Much appreciated. <laughs> we are so very close. <laughs> A mere five followers away from 400 and finishing... Finishing Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. I'm very excited for that. Oh, that sucks for Nea. Where, where was the other place? Oh, right here. Hey, how'd you get in here? I'm just a retired shopkeeper. You're dressed like a king. Come on, dude. Ha 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 ha. I guess that's all he's got. Alright, there's no place to actually save in here, is there? Oh no, the guy, the priest will save your game. I will go do that, and then it's time to end stream. Needs 20 experience points for the next level. Okay. Oh, thanks for the follow, Kenster. Four. Four followers. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for the raids and the follows. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm going to call it an evening for now. I'm over here. Haha. -ha. Uh, let's see. I'll be back on Sunday. Uh, Sunday I'm going to be finishing up Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> a very uh, unretro game, uh, but one that I really like a lot. And I'll, I'll finally be finishing the Devil May Cry series. Uh, next Monday I'm continuing my playthrough of Kingsfield 2. Uh, my first playthrough. <laughs> Thank you, Luna. Uh, and then... Yeah, next Wednesday. 
I actually don't know. <laughs> I think I need to DM Chris about something. Uh, but yeah, let's see. I have a Discord. I post where I'm going live. I post my weekly schedules, and it's just a chill place to hang out. If you'd like to join, all are welcome. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash VT. You can follow me there if you'd like. And yeah, that's going to do it for me tonight. Uh, let me see. Who else is streaming? Who can I give a raid to tonight? I have to wait for an ad. I think she's probably still going, but Picky Channel is playing Katamari Damacy currently, a game I love quite a lot. Um, so as long as they're still going, give them a raid. Just waiting for this ad to end. Night, Skeleton Witch. Get the raid started. Still going. Start that rate up. All right, folks. Have a lovely evening. I'll be back at Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so until then, have a lovely rest of your week. A wonderful weekend. And I'll see you on Sunday for Devil May Cry 5. Until then, take care, folks. Bye for now. <laughs>